Hi guys, welcome to handyradio.co.uk. Today we're just going to do a quick comparison of the Nagoya NA701 and the Nagoya NA771 antennas. On the radio now is a NA701. I'm going to hit transmit and see how many bars of signal we're getting um, from the repeater feedback. It's getting 7 or 8, 7 or 8 on the NA701 antenna. So now I'm going to try the 771 with the same radio, the same frequency. So it was on 8, 9, mostly 9. So at the length of the antenna between the two uh, does have a slight difference. Um, but either would be um, would be much better than the stock antenna, um, in my opinion. So the difference on the two meter band isn't that obvious. The 771 is winning about one or two bars of signal. The sound quality, the audio is pretty much the same. We're now going to take a look at the performance of the 430 megahertz, the 70 centimeter band. With the 701. Now trying it with a 771. The last demonstration I'd like to do today is to compare the FM broadcast receive with the Nagoya 701 and the 771. At the moment I'm on BBC Radio 4 with the 701 antenna. It's giving me 6 to 7 bars. 6 to 7 bars of signal. I'm going to turn the volume up. They lost the appeal and they did lose a, a huge amount of money, but you know, he shrugged it off because ultimately he was a gen. As you can see, now we have full signal bars on the meter reading here. You see, in the last uh, 50 years or so, you've seen a lot of changes here in Australia, particularly in Aboriginal communities. And this is using the 771 antenna. To conclude, both antennas perform really, really well. The 701 is small, compact, and very practical. The 771 is powerful, it's got good range, good receive quality, but it's twice as long. As with everything, there's a compromise. So I'll leave you to make the decision. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to handyradio.co.uk. And we'll see you next time.